G'day everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up your Kronos Sen. Let's get into it. The first thing you'll need to do before you even open the box is go to this website here. I'll leave a link in the description. It's chronosmax.com forward slash downloads. Once you're there, you need to scroll down to the bottom. There's a Collective Minds update tool for Windows. You need to download that by clicking here. So you're downloading. Okay, now once that's finished downloading, don't touch that yet. Next thing you need to do is plug the Kronos Zen into your PC. Now you're going to need a small micro USB cable. So out of all the cables that come in the box, you need the smallest one. Plug the micro USB port end into the back of the Zen and the normal USB end into your PC or laptop. Okay, now once you have your Kronos Zen plugged into your PC, it's time to open that update tool that we downloaded earlier. It'll say that there's no devices found, but what you need to do now is press and hold the small button located on the bottom of the Kronos Zen. Keep holding the button and you'll eventually see your device show up here. Now click on your device name and update it to the most recent firmware version. You can use the latest version available. Make sure that one's turned on. Click continue. You can see here, I've got an update ready for mine. I'm going to begin the update now and wait till that's done. Perfect. The update is now complete. We can now move on to the next step. The next step is to download and install the Zen Studio. You can get it from the same chronosmax.com forward slash downloads website that we got the update tool from. So click download here and wait for that one to download. Once that's finished downloading, you need to install the Zen Studio. And then once that's done, you can open it up. So this is what Zen Studio looks like. You can see down the bottom there, it says device not connected. What we need to do now is take out the cable we plugged in earlier. And we now need to plug in the mini USB cable that came with the device. To make it easier, out of all the cables that came with the device, short one, the medium one, and the long one, you need the medium size one. Now plug the mini USB cable into the mini USB port located on the side of the Zen. Plug the other end into your PC or laptop. Zen Studio should now recognize the device and bring up a little something like this. You will see over the right hand side, little part that says register here you need to click that and make sure you register your device once you've got the device registered you can now start looking around the zen studio for a script or a game pack that you might like the difference between scripts and game packs is very simple the scripts as you see here in the library are made by what you call the community people around the world that make the scripts in the programmer here you click on the zen section you can see a whole bunch of different game packs uh, for different games and all of these ones here uh, are made by collective minds the people that make the Cronus Zen. now it's completely up to you which one you want to go for first whether it's a game pack or a script if you're just starting out with the zen i do recommend starting off with a game pack as they are a bit more simple to understand the most popular game that people use this for is call of duty i'll do a quick explanation now on how to install the Call of Duty Warzone Pro Pack that a lot of people use. If you go to the programmer here, scroll down, you'll find the Call of Duty Warzone Pro Pack. To install that onto the Zen, you simply drag that onto a free slot and let go of the mouse. Now, if nothing pops up, all you do is click the number here that's blue, and this will bring up your slot configuration. Now, I will do a video that explains this in more detail, but for a basic setup, what you need to do is match some of your in-game settings to the settings here in the slot configuration. I play on default button layout, so mine's default. If you play on tactical or any of the other ones there, you need to select that button layout. I also play on default stick layout. If you play on any of the others, you need to choose that there. Stick sensitivity, match horizontal and vertical in-game. I play on 6.6, so I would put it like that. My dead zone in-game is 0 0.10, so I would choose that one. You would need to match yours to be the same. Now, global mods, this is for stuff like your uh, slide cancel, hair triggers, as you can see. My favorite one to use is this one here, number eight, because it gives me the hair triggers and the slide cancel in one. You can choose whichever one you like. Aim assist intensity, I like to leave that at 15. Now, if we move down a little bit further, this is where you're going to set up your weapon. You'll see here, class one primary weapon. You need to choose the class one primary weapon you have in the game. Okay, so for me, that is the growl. So I'll go down and find that here. Primary anti-recoil strength. There is no magic number for every weapon. It is best to work this out once you're in the game. So feel free to change it. I'm just going to leave it at 100 for now because it is best to work it out once you're in the game. Class 2 primary ADS mod, you want aim assist. And then you want to go down here to class 4 secondary weapon. 
So for me, mine is the Mac 10. So you want to go down to SMGs. We look at Mac 10. We click this one here. Again, same for secondary anti-recall strength. Change it if you like. I'm leaving mine at 100 because I would adjust mine in the game. On here, AM Assist as well. And there we go. That's a very basic setup for the Call of Duty Warzone Pro Pack. Again, I'll upload another video that explains it in more detail. Um, but for now, once you've done that, you come over here and you click Program Device to save that. And there we go, success. Now, once that's done, you can close the Zen Studio and unplug the Zen from your PC. Once that's done, it's now time to plug it into your console. The problem now is, is that my Xbox has completely fried itself. I don't have the console for the example, so I'm just gonna use my PC, but it's gonna be the same for you anyway. What we do now is plug the micro USB cord in again. That's the shortest cable that came with the Cronus. I plug that into the back of the Cronus Zen and then plug the other end into your console. Now grab the longest micro USB cord that came in the box, plug the small end into the micro USB port on your controller, and plug the other end into the side USB port of the Zen. Now what you need to do is press the blue button on the right hand side of the Zen until the game pack or script you want to use shows up on the screen. I put mine on slot four in Zen Studio, so I had to press mine four times. It will then show you at the bottom of the screen what buttons you need to press to enter into the mod menu. Now, if you have your controller plugged into the Zen and it's showing up like this with the plus and minus sign, it just means that the Zen hasn't recognized your controller. What I recommend is a few things. Make sure you've got the micro USB cable plugged into the right micro USB slot on the controller. If you are using a battery pack, sometimes there is two. Also make sure that micro USB is plugged in all the way. If all that's plugged in correctly, then what I do recommend from there is unplugging some things, replugging them back in, because sometimes it does take a couple of goes for it to register the controller. And that's everything. I won't go into detail about going through the menu of the Warzone pack, as this video is mainly for the initial Chronosense setup. I'll do some more in-depth videos on how to set up the game pack and navigate the menu in the future. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm all done. See ya.